It is 12.06 p.m. on September 23rd, 2016 on a Friday. Ladies and gents, I want to welcome you guys to... Let me take a look at my iPad real quick. Your boy is at work doing this podcast. Decided to do it a little bit more earlier than usual. Reason being is because I'm not trying to do this later on. So... Just had to make sure this podcast as quickly as possible. So it might be short because I'm going to cut to the point. You guys know how I get down. And at the same time, too, if you guys hear any background noise, didn't know your boy works over at LAX, so that's where you guys hear in this aircraft and things of that nature. Um, as soon as this thing pops up, I'll let you know what week this is. Matter of fact, I can actually go to my Instagram account and see which week this is for the podcast that's if the thing comes up i mean we out we on the outside where the aircraft and stuff come in and things of that nature the service be very kind of crappy and i went to the wrong <laughs> web page wow I played the track in a few minutes speaking of which i will have another instrumental album coming out Later October, it's gonna be um, entitled Mono Baladino. If I use chapters five, uh, I'm not quite sure if I had another title to it, but yeah, stay tuned for that. It's an alternative edition on how I redo some of my older tracks I had done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be week 17 at the podcast, sessions 79, 80, 81, 82, and then 83. All right, so with that, let's get on with the show. Ladies and gents, welcome. I am your host, Quinn Morris, known as Chinchilla Q of the Rock Production CM.com. Business Minus Leaders, aka The Wolf's In. Midnight's Classic Soul, aka The Lounge. Welcome, guys, to another edition of the Business Minded Podcast. We're about to go through week 17, session 79 through 83. So, this goes from September 19th to the 23rd, which is today. So ladies and gents, on September 19, 2016, Bless Monies, I said negativity breeds hatred, hatred breeds fear, fear breeds destruction, destruction breeds your own death. Keep negativity, negativity out of your life and breed love and kindness to others. Live, learn, and let go. Here's the reason why that like there is very important. Because whatever you have a negative spirit in your life or wherever you just have a negative mindset of things, you tend to lose your focus. So when you lose your focus, you be afraid of things. When you be afraid, you start hating on other people that have the things that you want or you just hate on people, period. And then when that happens, you have destruction on your life because things always happen in the monochromatic bad scene. And then when that happens, then all that destruction or all that destructive pathness that you left leads to your own death. So you got to learn how to love others. You got to learn how to be kind. You got to learn how to just let go of things that's not going your way or let go of things of the past. Period. You can't keep holding on to that negativity. That negativity will eat you up alive and spit you out into the grave. And then beyond the grave, it's nothing pleasant either. So get negativity, hatred, fear, destruction, and anything else out your life. Live, learn, and let go. So on September 20th, 2016, on the Grind Tuesdays, I say you're stronger than you can ever imagine. You just need to stop thinking that you're little and envision yourself being big. At the same time, stay humble. We tend to look at ourselves in the mirror and say that we cannot do the things that we wanted to do when we was younger. The dreams and aspirations and ambitions that we had 
we tell ourselves that we can't do it anymore because we feel as if we lost the focus. We didn't lose focus for anything. We just let life, as I said before in the past, kick us in our butts. So what you have to do is you gotta have your mindset and think that you really are strong than what you are. You're not doing things that's little. You're making big impacts. It doesn't even have to be something the physical. It could be give somebody encouragement. That could be a major thing to somebody. Then he's in that same time. Or you may have the chance of being wealthy. I didn't say rich. I say wealthy. There's a difference. Rich is temporary. Wealthy is everlasting. Because it continues in the next generations. So... Even if you blessed be that, stay humble. Always stay humble in anything. Stay humble through the good, stay humble through the bad. Even through the bad with the test be happening. Stay humble. Because at the end of the day, you're going to bless somebody with your story. And that right there is going to be worth more than what you ever imagined. September 21st, 2016, Motivation on Wednesdays. I said it's time to stop dreaming and start doing. Stop planning. And start action. Take your action and start living. Live for you're not promised tomorrow. That statement holds true. Because we keep dreaming of we want to do this. We dream that we want to do that. We dream we want to do this. Or we want to plan this out and plan that out. It's good to always have a daily, daily planner. But towards the next... Um, motivation on post I have, I have said Trust me The plans that we have is not our plans At all I mean it's good to have something down So you know you can remember it the next day But at the same time Stop dreaming and just start doing it. It's time for us to start doing ladies and gents Because dream time And play time is over We don't have that much time on the surface You guys think you do so start doing what you need to do. September 22nd, 2016, Daily Tips Thursdays. To take you back on one, one fish on Wednesdays. I said, there's a saying that goes, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. God already has plans for you. The question is, what may his plans be for, for your life? That's the major question that we all have. That's just why I said that wherever you plan out, do know it's going to be redirected. God's going to add something else or he's going to change it completely. I tend to plan things a little bit, not as much. You can call me as one of the people that go through life day by day. But I kid you not that when God does have a plan for your life, it does direct you to whichever areas you feel. And there'll be times, you know, he does need for you to go ahead and rest because, you know, you kind of, you know, for us as, be, as human beings, we overdo sometimes. So, the crazy thing is, ladies and gents, you know, we just have to, we can plan what we need to plan, but at the same time, we have to let God go ahead and plan our direction, because we can't fully plan everything. What may he have for our life? Just keep living. God will really reveal it to us pretty soon, wherever it is that he's planning for us. And for today, Boss Set is Fridays, September 23rd, 2016. You guys will love this one. I said, through the midst of the chaos, through the midst of the storm, trust God in everything you do. Period. True? No, I'm not true. My bad. <laughs> trust, he comes through at the right time always. Reason why I posted that this morning. Yesterday, my missus, she hit me up. Um, in regards to her health and whatnot, we live in two different states. I'm in LA, she's in New York. Long distance relationship and whatnot, we make it work. But uh, she hit me up, you know, in regards to her health and things of that nature. It was some news that, you know, will make any husband literally like to say stop everything. And you know, I know business and getting away better. And so, um, 
yesterday and I got paid. The paycheck was pretty nice. It's a blessing. I would say this one. It's a blessing. Thing is, I was able to cash it in because my wife needs something, you know, while she's at the doctor's or whatnot. And so, I'm like, talk to God about it. And then my whole mindset switched because you know, I came in the morning, I was like, happy, like, yay. Then, you know, I got the little message. I'm like, oh, it went to, went to, how you guys doing to, okay, anybody gets in my way, I'm going to F y'all up. Because your boy right now is trying to think of some things to help out the missus. So, you know, my mindset is on two different levels. So on focus on getting my girl better. And at the same time, it was on if anybody gets in my way, they're going to get hurt. Not with the physical, but mostly with the focal part. So, thank God for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit kept me calm. I was searching individuals, like flight attendants and things of that nature. Like I said, I work at the airport. So, and I clean the aircrafts. Which means get on, pick up the little trash or whatever, and hop off. Because they have length of time. So, there be some flight attendants or some other folks from different um, little um, contract companies that, you know, you get parts of the aircraft and they tend to get in the way. Or you work and you got a flight attendant, you know, that's asking, you know, actually a question and everything. You're not trying to be rude, you try to get done with aircraft, let's say, in about five or seven minutes. So, you don't have no talk time. You can try to look up, you know, let them know, like, hey, um, we try to get, you know, whatever needs to be done as soon as I'm done doing this, whatever. But I had to catch myself because I almost had slipped some words and those girls like, yo, Q, just chill. Those girls like, you know, bro, how you feeling right now? You want to try to help out your wife, you know, she just get her uh, medication and whatnot, things of that nature. At the same time, calm yourself down, keep pushing, God got it. So by the grace of um, by the grace of God, He made everything work at the perfect time. I left out of work and totally forgot on the time clock that we had to stay updated. Got to answer little questions, whatever on there. I bell at the door like I need to go to the bank deposit my check, make sure my missus get her medication money whatnot, and things of that nature. And so, long story short, she hit me up earlier this morning, right before I had a um, funny thing was in my dream, um, me and I was having a conversation and whatnot, and, um, and then I have set the ringtone that I have to where we should sing up, and I know it's her. And so I actually woke up, and she was actually hitting me up, I was like, okay, so I took a look, she had something that she got everything that she needed, and, um... I just think God right there and then, and I think it's like around 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'm talking to God right before, you know, he got me up to get, get to work. But like I said before, through the midst of the chaos, through the midst of the storm, God always come through. I'm going to tell you right now, it's like tough trying to trust because you, for us, we're so physical on, we got to see it there then and now see whatever we ask God we got to see right there and now and things that makes like you know we talk about it pray about it but we just want to see it just right there like right in our face but God being the loving God loving the patient God that he is and trust me God does have a temper too don't test him he, <laughs> you test God and get him pissed off I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> he will make your life completely different than what you thought before so um make this Short ladies and jets for our boss Saturdays Fridays. When God comes through, he comes through. The thing we have to do is continue to talk to him, continue to pray daily, continue to try to hold our attitude so we won't be who banging on somebody else. Because at the same time, for those of our friends that are very close to us, they can tell when something is wrong. And lately, you know, like on certain Sundays where I come to work, probably be my Mondays or sometimes my Tuesdays, because I come in from Wednesday, whatever. So Wednesday be like my Monday and Thursday be like my Tuesday. So every day, you know, I'd be cool while coming. Every day, you know, I'd just be like, eh. Rather be like asleep or I have too much in my mind, you know. Like-